Hey everybody, this is Kelby Wolf with the Texas A&M Forest Service. I'm the district forester in the Pittsburgh district in Northeast Texas. We're out here today on a property in Morris County to talk to you a little bit about thinning. We realize that in today's climate, a lot of people think that any cutting or harvesting of trees is bad for the environment. Well, we're gonna talk a little bit about why that's not the case. What a lot of people don't realize is that as these trees age and grow, they'll actually begin to compete with one another for resources, whether that be sunlight, water, or even nutrients from the soil. Left to their own devices, some of these trees will actually outcompete others, overtop them, and this can lead to a number of different issues. It increases the likelihood of insect development, diseases, and even potentially catastrophic wildfire. Now that we've discussed some of the reasons why you should be thinning, let's talk about the timing of these thins and the process itself. Generally in Northeast Texas, we start contemplating a first thin on pine plantation at 12 to 15 years of age. This is also the perfect time to get a consultant forester involved with your property. The most common method for this initial harvest is a row thin, where a logger comes in and removes every third, fourth, or fifth row, and then culls your less desirable trees between these rows. Once your first thin has occurred, the stand should be allowed to grow for five to seven years before being evaluated for a second thin. Your second thin often involves marking the stand to determine which trees should be removed, focusing on taking out the rest of any twisted, forked, or deformed trees. Depending on your goals, you can plan for a third thin or perform a final harvest and replant to start the process over again. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. If there's a forestry related topic you'd like to hear more about, please leave us a comment below.